what happened was I was walking through the woods with my two little kids and my four-year-old daughter noticed that somebody had thrown a plastic tub of cat litter into a creek. She looked at me and said, Daddy, that doesn't go there. And I know this sounds like a cliche, Ranjit, but that was the eye-opening moment. And when she said that, I, all of a sudden I saw nothing but trash and litter everywhere. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, and I, you know, I've been in the U.S. for a very long time. I went to school and worked for a while. And during my time in the U.S., I used to go and visit Nigeria very often. And I just saw, you know, the situation that, um, you know, that basically there's a lot of waste around communities. And, you know, I just thought, you know, I'm sure there's something that could be done about this. I took a class at MIT where we learned about um, how waste impacts people at the base of the pyramid. And along with some other um, colleagues, we came up with the idea of recyclers. Actually, way back in the the 70s after a friend who was an early environmentalist um, tragically died on a high mountain in the Himalayas. I wanted to do something for public health. Learned about flame retardants in kids' pajamas. Um, learned that they were toxic. Got into the children. And in those days we did uh, research showing this. Wrote a paper in science and three months later they were removed. And so flame retardants have been my entree to plastic pollution. Somewhere I don't know, two, two and a half years ago, as I was sitting in this mess of small things, I'm like, you know, if I could solve this for paper clips, if I could solve this, how do we aggregate them? How do we organize them? How do we, you know, make them marketable? How do we redistribute them? How can we do that in a way that is financially viable, right? That's profitable. If I can solve it for those, I can solve it for anything. <laughs>